my YouTube channel. This is video number four. Yeah, I'm really trying to be consistent. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in once again. I love you guys so much. Um, please, before we begin, as everybody says, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so down below. Uh, and if it's your first time here, my name is Ulemu Harriet Gunyumbu. Memu, as most of my friends call me or Harriet here in West Africa because I can't seem to pronounce my name. But yes, basically I am talking about my life, COVID and my experience as a Southern African in West Africa. Yes, I'm a Malawian that is in Ghana for school, don't worry. I'm not here to find a husband. Even though if there are any possible students, I don't mind because my friends are like roasting me about finding them a West African in-law. So are my friends and so are my family. So is that anyway into today's topic if you have i hope you have subscribed though but anyway today's topic the things i wish i knew about ghana before i came you know i feel like when i was coming to god I, re I didn't really take the time to like find out more information about where i was coming to i just knew it was in west africa and that i was coming to school and that i was going to learn in kumasi because my school's in kumasi kumasi is like uh the bland tire of malawi so yes you get the capital is a guy in case you don't know before someone comes and starts asking me so it's like everything was sort of rushed and whatnot so i got here and guys whoo! anyway let me begin number one the weather guys as a southern african hi please the weather here is ridiculously hot when I say hot, you should understand hot. Like, how is 33 degrees normal for you guys? Like, these guys just walk around like, it's totally fine. And the thing is, in Accra, which is the capital, the air is so humid, it's like, it's hot, and it's like you're opening an oven. And I was just like, what is going on? Their winter is like, this period right now, yes, I'm actually wearing like a cardigan, because it's a bit chilly nowadays. Their winter is, I think, between, end of may june end of may june and july but then the winter is like a normal day in southern africa so you can imagine but it's cool number two has got to be the religion guys translation people here pray i'm always telling people that if you go to hell why you stay in west africa rather in ghana specifically it's budget guys there is a church on literally every corner every corner like i'm not even joking like every corner if i wasn't as lazy as i am i'd be like i'd take you on a stroll and it's just that school's closed right now so like there aren't as many online like campus churches but oh guys <laughs> i used to think malawi i pray but we don't pray <laughs> in west africa in god Every corner you turn to, there is a church, there is a pastor, there is a prophet, there is a journey. So there's that. But then the other thing that I actually noticed about them is, which is the third thing, is their... I don't know if I can call it their culture. Because as much as these guys are spiritual, they, they are spiritual in both senses, if you understand what I'm saying. You know how back home, if you talk about going to a sangoma, kaya singanga, kaya a witch doctor, it's literally an abomination. People don't do that openly and it's usually what people in the villages if i can say of course i know there's like a few people in town that still go to those and believe in those things but like guys here it's openly practiced people put their name phone number location contact pop pa poster and people actually go to them like even <laughs> who even uh what do you call this body enhancement procedures i've met a couple of people with stores at the mall guys at the mall imagine you should go to shop right right in the middle you know where they usually put cars or things when there's like a price giveaway or something like that you should go there you should find the stand with pills and pictures of penis enlargement kaya boobs enlargement kaya they're telling you good if you have erectile dysfunction gender, and it is the most normal thing ever and i'm just like are you kidding me guys like are you kidding me wow like eh. so yes there's also that so as much as they're spiritual 
in this sense they're also spiritual in that sense you understand i don't have to say excuse me good and if we understand each other i get it cool and then i think the fourth thing has to be their food i know there's this common thing that everybody's like why do west africans always put eggs in everything guys they really do put eggs in everything boiled eggs guys boiled guys scrambled mostly boiled eggs in everything i don't understand it's like pepe as well like why does your food have to be so hot I remember the first meal I had in Ghana was jollof rice. Because, you know, you're going to West Africa, everybody like, ah, jollof, jollof, jollof. That's the first meal that I had. Guys, ah, I couldn't even finish, like, two bites. I was like, nah, mm -mm, I can't do this. It is so hot. Of course, now I love Indomie with Pepe. I've, I think I've had enough of jollof rice because, like, I don't even want to see that again. And then... I really like um, contomiri. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but contomiri. Yes, so the food is very strange. You know that etiquette we have in Southern African that we're like, um, if you're cooking chicken, chicken goes in its own pot. If you're cooking beef, beef goes in its own pot. If you're cooking fish, fish goes in its own pot. Nah. They don't believe in that here. Here it is everything in one pot, spices, put lid, and you are good to go. And then something else that I found really strange is, you know, cow skin. Yeah, they actually like putting that in food here. So I could conclude that since I came to Ghana, food presentation has been cancelled from my mind. Because if I was to go by the notation, goody, um, I'm only going to eat what looks nice in my eyes. Ah! I would have died a long time ago of starvation, guys. It's not even fun. These guys, like, you look at it and you'll be like, Do you have a But no, you taste it and it actually tastes really nice. I'm not saying that they don't have a lot of strange foods, but they do, but it's acceptable, I guess, after living here for three years. So I think I just got used to it. But my favorite so far has been um, gobe. Gobe is fried plantain with beans. Guys, it is divine. The beans are different from the ones that we have back home. But guys, oh my god, it's divine. And then I think my second favorite dish has to be wache. And then after that, maybe fried yam. But then the thing with fried yam is it depends. So, uh, fried yam here is as common as chips jabajiwai. And the funny thing is potatoes are so damn expensive and so are potato dishes. Kaya restaurants, kaya wherever it is you go, like... Potatoes are scarce this side. Guys, my peaches five. I remember going to ShopRite and like there was a pack of five peaches that were going for like 8,000 kwacha. My peaches five. That I can go and pluck in my backyard. Five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Just five. They were like 8,000 kwacha. I was just like, wow. It's cool, man. It's cool. We move. So, yes. I don't even know why I said we move over there. The other thing I think has got to be their dressing. Guys, these guys are so open to dressing. Do you know that you can wear bum shorts at the market here? Yeah. And no one will be like, sister, sister. Hey, Nah, none of that happens here. People respect you, they respect what you wear as long as you're covered, which is something I feel like Southern Africans have to adopt because it's ridiculous the way people go like, no, you were raped because of the way you were dressed. You were like, people are body shaming you. People are like, I'm dressing people in the market because you wear a mini skirt. Am I private parts not covered? What business is, of it is yours? Are they your private parts? Yeah? Is it? Are they? So yes, I feel like I really like the fact that these guys are open to dressing. Nobody really judges just as long as you. Particulars are covered. By particulars, I mean, yes, particulars. You get what I mean. Uh, what else? Wait, I think I forgot that thought. I wrote this down so that I don't forget. Uh, bah, 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 yes, how could I forget? The heart of every country is its people. Guys, Ghanaians are so friendly. If you're like me, that does not like people a lot. They're too friendly. But yes, they're super friendly. They always make sure you feel at home. Sometimes it gets too comfortable, but... It's cool, 
it's allowed the bottom line is that you feel at home and you're comfortable and they're so open to showing you around and they're always so curious about tourists like i could say they're the best but when it comes to this other section now uh we have shuttles that convey us from the hostels to class guys do so it's like i don't know how to explain but basically just imagine a coach yeah like a big coach so you almost always sit next to someone because like there's always students going to and from classes so the thing is here it is so normal to just like a guy would just come and sit by you in the shuttle and then they'll greet you and then you stay silent you'll be on your phone you'll be texting like you know it's like a five five ten minute ride to you get to campus when you're getting off you just hear can i please have your number someone you have never met before guys these guys are so straightforward when it comes to asking for a number but the funny thing is as compared to southern africans who if someone asks for your number you're like okay someone that you just met that is you're like okay here they really just want to be friends like they're just genuinely interested in being your friend and they will call and call and call and call and call and visit as well so yeah super friendly guys like you know that notation of make yourself feel at home yeah this country does that very very well very very excellently what else did i forget i think i have talked about yeah pretty much everything because i get a lot of people asking me oh so what's ghana like i think i've covered most of the basics uh oh no i forgot one more thing <laughs> so everybody is expecting me to go home with a west african husband if you're out there please i'm always telling you guys that i'm single but yeah someone even said i was advertising my singleness ah nanga ngala muna kusoa mpaka nandipire kwa marume kuti tikapanga arranged marriage but anyway so yes so their men are far west african men are fine in general southern african men you're also fine but guys understand me those people that you saw that you see on pinterest or on instagram it's not a like it's no hongola and the be oh my god but something i've also come to realize is good west africans um they have a lot of hair they're naturally hairier than us they're bigger in size and they're hairier than us just in general you see like even the girls their hair is like okay well Damn. and then you see a southern african's head sister don't you know your head that you've been struggling with for 10 years ah you see your friend two years and it's like the size the length of my wig and you're like how is that possible but generally they're just hairy their girls are also gorgeous they have uh, most of them have naturally slim waist so that is something i wish we could all have but sadly some of us are muffin top ambassadors Woo -woo, reporting for duty <laughs> uh what else have i forgotten i think the other thing no i want to talk about this in my life as an international student but i'll just pop it into this one the other thing is that um west africans naturally come to school really 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 young like guys these guys come to uni in like at like 14 15 i feel like the youngest we go to uni is 16 that is the youngest and that's if you did msce because you know how uh let's say uh most of us that did cambridge it's what six years primary and then seven years uh in high school because lower six and upper six and by the time you're going to uni and if you take a gap year on top of that that means you're going to uni at like what 19 20 somewhere there about guys they will hear fun when they hear your age i'm just like uh it's pretty normal where i come from like I'd even be considered one of the young ones, but eh? So yes. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. I hope you're staying home and you're staying safe. COVID-19 is real. You can just be like me, do your face. Like, I haven't even bath, guys. I just did my eyebrows, put a bit of foundation on my face and popped on my wig. Because I decided to put some effort for you guys. Because you're my fans and I love you. So yes. And then I just wore it over the cardigan. I'm still in my pajama. Go on, I'm <laughs> But anyway, guys, stay safe, stay easy. Oh.
Chisungu, guys. In your English is a problem, guys. But anyway, stay safe, stay home, and wear a mask if you have to absolutely go out. And yeah, don't go to parties. I'm not telling you, don't go to parties. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, I'm gonna post my handle down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all for tuning in and have a good You know I guess you have a what is the week? I don't even know what week is. I was about to say have a lovely week in Chishia. That's not Tengara. But anyway, have a beautiful week. I love you. Mwah.